Hey everyone, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to be up and gaming in Linux with Steam in less than five minutes. And we're gonna do all this without terminal commands. You'd be surprised how many games run on Linux now. Today, we're gonna to see how easy it is to set up a PC with Linux and get gaming in Steam. First, we'll need a copy of a Linux distribution. I'll randomly pick Kumbuntu as I've never used it and it's a pretty mature distro. I wanna come at this like a novice user fumbling through the interface to see how far Linux has come with ease of use. After downloading the Kumbuntu ISO, I made a USB installation drive using Rufus. Rufus is pretty straightforward. You pick the ISO from your downloads, choose UEFI or MBR if you're on a non-UEFI board, Use the recommended settings and then hit start. I'll put the USB drive in my PC and boot to it to start the Linux install. The installation was super easy with just a couple options and then creating a username, password, and PC name. In less than five minutes, the install was done and I was at a usable desktop. Immediately, there were notifications for system updates, which I acknowledged. So now we have Linux installed and updated. It's time to figure out how to install the graphics drivers for my RTX 3060. Off the bat, I see something that looks like a settings icon and I click on that. I'll scroll through the list and immediately find driver manager. Ah, easy. Driver manager found my graphics card and recommends some drivers. I'll pick the top option and just run with it. The drivers install without a hitch, so we move on to setting the refresh rate. And going to the settings app, I find where we need to go quickly and set 144 hertz refresh rate. Yes, we're ready to install Steam and game, right? Almost. We need to get the Xbox One controller connected. Luckily, there's a Bluetooth icon in the lower right. I click on that, hit add device, and I'm off to the races connecting my controller in seconds. Now we're ready for Steam, but how are we going to do this? I hit the uh, start button and under system is something called Discover Software Center. This looks promising. In the search box, I'm just going to type Steam and see what happens. Steam installer comes up. Let's give that a go. The installer downloads and installs, but then that's it. Okay. I'll hit the start button again and search around. Luckily, I stumble onto the games directory and lo and behold, install Steam is there. I run the installer and it looks to be working. Could this be that easy now? The install finishes and I log into what looks like a fully working version of Steam. Let's test a game right away. We'll start with Rocket League since it's a quick download. After it installs, we hit play and a pop-up appears wanting to load Vulcan shaders. Okay, I'll allow it. A minute or so later, we're in Rocket League and playing without issues. I set everything to high and it looks and plays great. Now let's try Cyberpunk 2077. In order to get this and most other Steam games to run in Linux, I did learn you have to enable compatibility. This is easy by going into Steam settings, choose compatibility, then choose enable Steam play for other titles. Steam will restart and you can try out your library. After enabling that, Cyberpunk becomes available and we install and run it without issues. Even DLSS is there. Running the benchmark, we get a very playable 75 frames per second average in 1440p on all high settings. Not bad at all. So far, this has been the easiest Linux experience I've ever had. To find out what games work, you can go to the ProtonDB website and search for a game or just go through the vast list of verified games. Also, in Steam compatibility, you can adjust the Proton version you're using if your game runs into issues. Proton is simply a compatibility layer that Steam uses to run Windows games in Linux, much like on the Steam Deck. Now, there are a couple caveats to gaming in Linux at the moment. Number one, most first-person shooters that use anti-cheat will not work. Maybe in the future, but not at the moment. Next, there are ways to get your Epic, GOG, and Amazon game libraries working as well through the Heroic project. I didn't cover that app though, as we were getting issues with it working. And uh, I wanted to come at this like a novice user, so we'll, we may cover that in a future video. I wanted to just stick with Steam for this piece. And that's how easy it is to get up and gaming in Linux on Steam. If you were thinking of ditching Windows or just wanted to try out gaming in Linux, it's never been easier. 
Be sure to leave your questions and comments below. Thanks so much for watching and hit that subscribe button. I love you people. Was that good?